guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing fine so today i'm going to be doing another collection video and it's about foundations so foundations i think it's a very important and the base product in makeup so if you are a very makeup freak then i think you would have a lot of collections like me so i'm going to be showing you my sweet little collections of foundations and if you're new here please take some time and subscribe my channel it means a lot to me and do click the bell icon so that you don't miss out any of my future uploads so these are my foundations which I've been collecting from the year 2016. Um, I know you know some uh, foundations are really old and uh, you know some foundations I really don't use because either of the shade or either of the consistency or either of the finish. So these are some of the reasons and I did waste uh, like uh, two or three foundations bottle completely and I have some expired ones also which I'm going to be throwing so that's why i did this video suggest so to you know do like a declutter video and i'm going to be throwing off what all skincare and what all makeup products which have you know already expired or going to expire so that i can use them whenever i want so the first foundation which i picked when i started my youtube channel or when i fall or when i fell for makeup was this lacme 9 to 5 flawless makeup foundation so this is a very bad foundation and it was a failure product from lacme uh, this product um, I really didn't use like uh, even a quarter of the bottle as you can see the packaging everything seems to be really very fine I like the packaging but I don't like the shade the first thing which is uh, uh, the shade which I picked it wrong uh, because I went to a Lakme counter and they brainwashed me to pick a lighter shade so this is the first uh, foundation and after I picked this foundation I you know kind of uh, researched about foundation and I uh, knew about the warm tones, the cool tones, the neutral tones and how to pick a shade for our foundation. But this foundation is for 7, no 575 rupees and I wasted it and this is uh, having a shelf life of 2 years and I got this in 16, that is 2016 and it's already expired. So I'm going to be planning to you know throw this. So the next foundation is one of uh, a very hit foundation, also one of uh, you know many uh, bloggers or many people's favorite foundation, which is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless um, Normal to Oily Skin Foundation. So this is my first you know kind of uh, you know shade matched foundation. So this is priced for rupees, um, I think it's for five fifty rupees. Yeah, it's five twenty five rupees. And uh, the manufacturing date was uh, 2016 and this is also going to be expiring by, no this is also expired, this is expired on August uh, 2019. So, but this foundation I have used quite a lot, but the shade 310 is a lighter shade for me, like a tad bit lighter shade for me. But I use this foundation really really a lot because I love the matte and the poreless finish of this foundation and the only thing i don't like about the foundation is the packaging because you tend to you know pour a lot of uh, product outside and i think uh, i have just a little bit of foundation left so i'm very happy that i finish off this foundation okay the third foundation is l'oreal infallible 24 hours stay fresh foundation fights makeup meltdown and this one is in the shade 150 radiant beige which is also a little lighter shade for me but i really like uh, this foundation uh, basically in winters because it's not very mattifying or very drying on your skin so this is a very good uh, foundation for people who have really dry skin they can try out this during winters and uh, the finish is also it's not very matte it's like a glowy and a very natural looking foundation this is priced for rupees 1400 rupees i think this was my first costliest that is about 1000 foundation and i really like the packaging of the foundation it comes with the pump packaging and i think this also this also i have completed like uh, you know three fourth of the product and this is expiring next month Okay, next um, is the foundation when I found that my skin is very oily and I want to, you know, always go in for a matte foundation is this L'Oreal Paris Matte Magic 20, 12 hours bright matte foundation. It has SPF in it and it does uh, volcanic perlite infusion. So this is priced for rupees, I think maybe 500, 550 or something. I don't remember but I like the tube packaging it's kind of hygienic and um, I like the color of the packaging as well 
and this one is my perfect shade and also it gives you a flawless matte finish and I think I have like a quarter of the tube left but uh, I think this one is also expired so I wish I'll be throwing all of these foundations but you know you feel very happy when you complete the foundation at least three fourth so I'm feeling happy for this foundation because this foundation was my um, you know go to if I don't have my Maybelline fit me I used to use this one and mainly during summers when I get tanned so next I have two BB creams uh, I'm going to be covering up BB and CC cream as well in my foundation collections because I think both are kind of same so I have this LA girl pro BB cream and I have two tubes with me these are my very very favorite during winters so I have oily skin but my skin becomes combinational during the winters I have really dry cheeks um, and around the mouth also I do have very bad dryness and the t-zone feels to be oily so these I have in shades neutral and medium and uh, neutral I use in winters and medium I use in summers these have really really very good consistency and uh, a little bit of the product goes a long way and I think I do have uh, some more time to use this and um, you know because I have two tubes I think uh, I've used just half of the tubes so I think I have to work on it and I have to finish it so this um, one is priced for 650 rupees and I think this is a great buy fr uh, from LA Girl because LA Girl has been a very good brand in 2018, 17 and all so because of the concealer and this is one of my favorite products from the brand. So next is also a CC cream and this is from Lacme, Lacme 925 CC Complexion Care Cream and this is in the shade Bronze. So I think now they have four shades but when I got this there were only two shades and the price of this is also so the price of this is 290 rupees and you have 30 ml 30 grams of the product and i like this uh, you know the cc cream it's very good for daily purpose i was using this um, you know nearly uh, for all of my work days and i used to ship between the bb cream la girl bb cream and the cc cream and i also use the maybelline clear show bb cream that also was my all time favorite this is a very good product and I have like uh, half of the tube left because uh, you know I use very little bit and I go under my eyes and wherever I have some blemishes so this is also a good product but I would recommend this when you want a very sheer coverage and when you just want it to look like a natural um, skin so then you can use this so next I have the Maybelline New York uh, Clear Show All-in-One BB Cream. This one is in the shade Natural and it's a very small tiny uh, tube. I really like the color of the tube but the quantity seems to be very less and it has SPF 21 PA++ and I used almost uh, the tube. There's very little bit left and this one is an expired product but I wanted to show you um, in my collection. So this is for 250 rupees and it has 3 years of shelf life. So next is also a BB cream, it's from Garnier and this is a good product for very dry skin. I have oily skin, I really don't like this uh, because it tends to you know get very oily in the middle of the day or like if you have a very hot work day then this is not your product if you have oily to combinational skin. And this one has SPF 24 so if you have really dry skin then you can use this product. This is a very good product for dry and very very dry skin like flaky skin. This gives you like a moisturized and very hydrated skin and uh, this one uh, does not have any shade uh, and this is um, like common shade but I like uh, you know this shade for medium to dusky skin uh, it does suit you guys and this one I don't think it's expired it has like six months more to go so I'm very happy with the product and this one is price for rupees uh, yeah this I don't uh, I think this is for 85 rupees which is a very good deal so next I have the Olivia liquid foundation satin finish this foundation was a overrated foundation and also a, you know, a trending foundation in 2018 and half 2019 many youtubers used to do a separate review of this foundation this has full coverage and if you have the perfect shade this is a very good foundation it has satin finish and if you are a person who don't like all of the matte drying finish then you can really go in for this foundation and this is priced just for 100 bucks which is great and this is how the uh, bottle looks and I have like uh, yeah two more ones to go so I'll be using this and I think I just used a quarter of this uh, product and uh, like this one is um, you know 
I don't like the packaging of this, but it's a you know a acrylic kind of a packaging and not like a glass. So this is a good product for hundred rupees. I think the packaging is like okay. Next, I have the Itex Dazzler Moisturizing Liquid Makeup with Sunscreen Foundation. So this I go bought because I got a lot of requests to you know uh, review this foundation and this one is priced for one twenty rupees and this one. I don't like this foundation uh, but you know this uh, foundation is very um, oily for me it is not having a matte finish so this foundation I think I have used like a quarter of it and uh, I have yeah I have one more month to go uh, on this foundation so I'm quite happy about this uh, the shade I have is Sunset R41 in R in Nitex Dazzler and in Olivia I have the shade Natural Glow so next foundation I got is uh, from Focalure. It's a Focalure Skin Evolution Fluid Foundation SPF 15 and this is in the shade Natural Tan. This is how it looks. I think this foundation is one of the thickest foundation. I really like the consistency but a little bit of the product goes a long way and you have a good coverage with this foundation. Coverage is very important and this has a very good coverage and the shade Natural Tan kind of is a half a shade lighter for me and this will suit me really well in winters and I like the packaging of this and this is not a glass bottle or something it's a plastic bottle so it's very travel friendly I got it from the Focalure website itself and next I have the Spins BB cream I think this I got it in 2019 and uh, I don't remember the price this for 20 grams and uh, the price I think it's for 96 rupees so I saw an ad in TV and I bought this product but this is um, it's not a BB cream, it's more like a, you know, a fat and lovely or a fatness cream, which I don't like. So this one says that this is a brightening and beauty fatness cream and uh, it covers spots and sun protection. So I think people who range from uh, light to medium skin tone can use this one, uh, then can use this uh, BB cream. But people who are from medium to dusky cannot use this because it does not have a shade. So next I have the Nelf Long Lasting Oil Free Foundation. This uh, I think I got from one of the subscription boxes. I think it's Glowbox. When Glowbox had the concept of build your own box, I picked this one. And I, re I don't remember the shade or the shade is not specified anywhere. But uh, this is a good foundation but the shade is a little bit lighter for me. Um, it has a good satin finish and it has sheer coverage. Next I have is uh, Seashole. C Soul, sorry, C Soul uh, CC Cream HD Finish. I don't really like this CC Cream and I haven't used it even a quarter of the two because um, the first time I used it, I really, really don't like, didn't like the product. This is in the shade medium and I got from Glamigo Box. Um, this is an utter waste product, I guess. The, you know, the consistency is very thick and it does not blend well. So making it very difficult and it looks patchy here and there. So I don't like this. Next I have a CC cream from NY Bay. I think I got this one in 2019 with SPF 220. So this one uh, barely has any product inside. The tube always feels to be very light and there's no quantity inside. So we have to just press the tube. I think there's only glass gas built inside. So this is in the shade Cookies and Cream Latte. This is in the shade 2 and uh, the price of this is 125 and it has 18 grams into it. Uh, talking about this product, it has very 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 light sheer coverage and has um, that moisturizing effect. So if you uh, have a dry skin then you can really try this. But otherwise I don't like the product. So next foundations which I'm going to be showing you are foundations which I got in 2019 and some of my favorite foundations. The first foundation is PAC HD Liquid Foundation which is for 590 I guess. and. I'm in the shade 3.0. This is one of my go-to foundation whenever I'm heading out to a wedding or an event. I really like how this coverage is, how the natural finish is and it's a little bit semi-matte or demi-matte. It is a fantastic foundation. It gives you a very very good coverage. I love the packaging especially this cap and the, and the cap where you have the lock so it's very easy for traveling. Uh, but it's a glass bottle so you have to be very careful while you're packing and keeping it in your travel bag. This has a lot of shades. If you want to see the complete review of this product, you have that on my channel. I'll be linking that here so that you guys can see. So next foundation I have here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, Demi Matte 
finish air light oil free foundation so this one has a shelf life of 3 years and this one is going to be expiring in 2021 which i'm very happy about um this is a very mattifying foundation and one of my favorite and a perfect shade match the pack foundation is also a perfect shade so if you're someone uh, you know looking like my skin tone or my color then you can really go in for 3.0 uh if you have a doubt you can also check the pack uh, uh, store in vadapalni chennai so you can go and pick your perfect shade there so this foundation is a little bit drier so if you really have oily combination of skin and if you're using this foundation you have to be really careful in applying a good moisturizer so this is going to dry up a little bit basically in winters and it's a perfect foundation for the summers so next foundation which i liked from lakme is the lakme invisible foundation spf 8 and uh, this is a 25 gram product and uh, i have the shade in 02 So this foundation is the only foundation I think from Lakme which I liked after the CC cream. So this is a very um, you know satiny finish kind of a foundation, and the best thing I like is the spatula um, packaging. So I really like it. I have a lot of quantity left inside, and I think I have two more years to go or one more year to go. So next foundation I have is the Makeup Revolution uh, Stick Foundation. and i have the shades f10 and f12 so these are my first stick foundations and i have the ny base stick foundation as well which i use as a concealer always so that comes under the concealer category and i love love these uh, these foundations these are very good for my winter wear and these are perfect shades of mine like the f12 is a perfect shade and f10 i can use it when i'm a little bit pale when i'm in winters so f10 and f12 i like the packaging of this and the shades uh, they give me a very good whole coverage full coverage i like the finish of this but it's a little bit you know satiny and uh, it'll do you so if you don't like all of the shine and everything you have to you know set it with a very good compact or loose powder but i like them because of the finish and the coverage so last foundations i have here is the maybelline new york Super Stay 24 Hours Full Coverage Foundation. So it's been really like four months since I used all of my foundations, so they feel a little bit dry. So I'm just giving them a shake. So I have two uh, shades here because I was really um, unsure of the shade online. I went to the store and picked, but also I picked the wrong shade. That is the shade 310. is a little bit or i i would say a, like a one shade lighter to me and uh, the shade 3 12 gold and matches me perfectly so you know i kind of mix these both when i uh, look a little bit fair so i mix these two shades to give me a very good natural look i love these foundations they give me a full coverage matte finish and they do stay for a very long time i have a complete review of these two beauties and these are priced for 750 and i have 2 years of this product to go so i'm very happy about that so that's all i like the packaging of uh, these two because they are not uh, similar to the packing packaging of uh, fit me which is a very good thumbs up for this uh, product and from me believe So those were all of my uh, collections for the year 2019. So I think uh, I'll be buying a little more in 2020. I hope so and I wish so because uh, you know I've been missing my makeup and my collections a lot from August uh, 2019 because I stopped wearing makeup. I stopped doing makeup tutorials because of my skin allergies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, found my collection to be interesting. If as yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll be meeting you all in my next video till then take care don't forget to subscribe and bye bye